Elevate Culture is an organization that's here to support the growth of a vibrant and authentic North American Muslim culture. So what does that really mean in, in, in effect, in actuality, on the ground, in the trenches, as they say, you know? What Elevate Culture is here to do is to give Muslim creatives and artists a, a place to, to be accepted and to, to just to, to, ha to have someone in their corner, you know? Because people who, it seems right now in our community, people who are trying to push for more traditional, you know, avenues of, of, of growing closer, closer to Allah, you know, l learning more Quran, you know, Islamic sciences, all those types of things, knowledge based, you know, just raw knowledge based endeavors, which are awesome and great, and we support everything, alhamdulillah that those are really being supported heavily and, and when people try to do that they get support from the community people are saying and, 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 and encouraging them and cheering them on and saying that's great and which it is alhamdulillah it's that we see that there's a, a lack of that same response to Muslim artists and creatives we're just trying to give people a place to come and feel accepted and that no you're not a heretic no you're not bad you're just, you're, you're, you're just someone who's trying to express their creativity and do it in an Islamic fashion and by doing so you're elevating the culture we live in, and really, we feel at Elevate Culture fulfilling the Sunnah in its essence and not in its just outward appearance. And so, we just want to really support people who are trying to do endeavors to that end and engage endeavors to that end, and just let them know that you know we're here for you, and you do have people in your corner, and really that that, that human element of letting people know that they're not alone. That's really it. In the, at the end of the day, like, you're not alone. Your people do support you, and, and when we want to help and whatever you're trying to do. So what we define as a Muslim artist is someone who's involved in just something that's culture building, that's, that's you know, whether it's film, literature, obviously a, a, your typical, your, your, your idea of, a, of your Traditional artist in terms of like painting or drawing or it, even if you if you take a, you know now computers now the technology some kind of graphic design or or film editing type of person as well so even people who are into you know cuisine architecture anything like that culture related that, that that helps just put a voice behind the the people you know so that's what we're really defining as an artist or if I if I miss anything it's really again that's what it's not necessarily a certain person or a certain uh, craft, it's more of just someone who, who, who's helping put meaning and, and a backdrop behind that raw knowledge and taking it to a new level. If you take the metaphor of baking a cake, when you bake a cake, you can, you can make something that looks like a cake with your basic ingredients, your flour, your eggs, whatnot, that you can put together and then you can bake and you, you take it out of the oven, it will look physically like a cake. But it doesn't necessarily mean, necessarily mean it's going to taste like a cake. So we can, you know, what, what makes the, ta the cake taste good is the sugar, the frosting, all these sweet things you add on to, to, to beautify and, and physically and um, taste-wise the cake. Those, those are the things that really make, take the cake from just being some, you know, flour and eggs and whatever mixed together and baked and then you have this physical cake those are the things that make it actually taste good and make people want to eat it and, and draw people to it and when it's, when it's sitting there it's hard to, to resist it so if you took that to, and, and you look at it in, in, in our situation as, as, as Muslims in the West what we may be doing is putting the, the flour and eggs and the basic five pillars we have as Muslims together and yes we are making a cake. We are, you know, in, 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 in a, you know, more mechanical sense, we are acting as Muslims. And we, so you're baking that cake. You have the, you have the physical cake in front of you. So you look at it, you say, that's a cake. And, you, and so, we, so we dress a certain way. We make certain prayers. We fast during Ramadan. We do certain acts. And yes, so yes, you look, you are a Muslim. But if you get to the next level now, so what like we said, what, what makes that cake what, what draws people to that cake? It's not the cake itself, it's more of the, the sugar you put in, the frosting on top, and for, for us as Muslims, we, we have to see what's, what's our sugar, what's our frosting that we're going to put on our cake to bring, not, I mean, not even, not even try and bring non-Muslims, but just make Muslims themselves 
draw, and especially the youth growing up here, draw them to our cake of Islam and make them, you know, want it and, and, and keep coming back to it and make it hard to resist for them. So that's really the question. What's our sugar and what's our frosting and, and, and how do we bring people to see the beauty of this faith? And at EC, we, we're defining the sugar, what we see as the sugar and the frosting to add to our cake is the arts. So by support, right now, that the avenues we have for support at Elevate Culture, if you go on the website, uh, elevateculture.org, we have three $1,000 grants that we're currently offering. The deadline is September 15th. For anyone with, with, any, type of project, we, with any type of project, we encourage all applications to just, if you have a project in mind that, that you need support for, we, we want to hear what your project is and potentially offer you a grant. But in the case that, you know, because we have limited resources that we can't offer you one of these grants, you can always be on a project gallery that people can come, just see your project. And then if, if they want to help fund you, if they, if they like what your project is, you give us a, a basic, a basic, you know, a, a project brief, some pictures, videos, whatever, whatever can enhance and, and let people know what your project is about. They can, they, maybe they'll find out about you trying to help fund you. They, just, they know you exist. You know, get, get some, some buzz about it, some free marketing, you know, and, and, and a huge part is networking of like, these like-minded individuals. Because right now we have all of this creativity in the Muslim community in the West, really. I mean, it, the, commu the, the creativity itself is there, but it kind of seems like everyone's off in their own corner doing their own thing, and there's not this really centralized and cohesive, creative Muslim community that other aspects of the Muslim community have. Like, in, in the medical field, you have conferences for, where all, you know, a lot of uh, physicians can come together and just, just network with people in, within their field. And in the same way, we feel like there's no reason why there shouldn't be something like that for Muslim creatives and artists. They can come, bounce ideas off each other, collaborate, and just and just generally have a place where they feel accepted and and that you know and that, that that and that they're being supported. And just that feeling itself maybe you know can help propel people to to reach new heights in their crafts and and you know produce awesome works that allow Muslims and non-Muslims alike to see the beauty of our tradition and heritage and put infuse some meaning into these traditional words that we always hear and take them be from words to action. Okay, so, so you're not, so you know, if you don't think you're necessarily that creative, your art's not your thing, but you do feel strongly about us fulfilling our cultural imperative as North American Muslims. And you do believe this idea of supporting and, and helping grow a vibrant and authentic North American Islam. You, you don't have to just you know, if you don't have a project, you come to our website and, man, that's what I can do. No, if, if, if you feel strongly about this, I mean, there's, there are multiple ways you can help. You can help spread the word, number one. We're really trying to, to get out there. People, let people know we exist because what we find is, you know, a lot of people feel, feel what we're doing and, and, they, and they really, you know, when they find out about us, they, they love what we're doing, but they don't necessarily know we exist. So, try to get the word out. You can help us spread the word via whatever mediums, social media, whatever, whatever, word of mouth, whatever that is, reach out to your networks, or just going on the website and supporting the, the people who do have projects. Because you don't, necessarily have, you don't necessarily have to have a project yourself, but you go on our project gallery, you see some, some projects you, you believe and you support, you can help fund them, or you can get in contact with the, with the artist, let them know, hey man, I like what you're doing, and I'd like to help out however I can, whether that be monetarily or, not, or, or otherwise. We have an aspiring filmmaker, who has a, a, a project idea for a film on the project gallery right now. And you know, once that comes out, inshallah, just watching it, spreading the word, supporting him, and just in that way, just, you know, give, just, just interacting or, or, or taking, part, taking part in the growth of this culture. Be, be, being, because well, yeah, it takes, you know, a few people who, who actually have these ideas but then without the general support of the, the, the population as a whole, can't really get very far. So just your support of these, pe of, of these people who are trying to do projects, if you don't have a project yourself, goes a long way. Man, what I see in the future, inshallah, the dream is to just have, you know, the, the Muslim community, at, you know, at large in the whole world, inshallah, the Ummah, but specifically, you know, North in North America, that we just we're free, you know, we're we're free to be ourselves. We can we can be 
Canadian Muslims, who can be American Muslims, and just and not have this like feeling of of their something that they're two separate things. Feel like, like reconciling those two and really feeling comfortable in our own skin, and you know not not always feeling like you know like by by being ourselves, just you know just trying to to be that we were be we're doing something wrong or or always having to have this feeling of of, of guilt and. And if I'm not if I'm not this picture of what a Muslim is, you know, whoever defined that picture, what if I'm not that picture, then, then for whatever reason I'm less of a Muslim, and, and, I'm, and I'm letting out someone else define, and somewhere else in the world define what I should be as a Muslim here. When when I'm one who grew up here, I know the challenges that I grew up with, and what my, what people around me grew up with, and and when we are are suited to address the issues that we see around us, and and to just be free to, in, in, in light of the sacred, be able to answer our generation society's issues. And by doing that, showing Muslims and non-Muslims alike, the beauty of, of when you implement the, 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 the beautiful and ultimate blessing of being a Muslim, when you implement that, that reality of, of what a Muslim really is, and the, the, just the amazing effects it has on you and the people around you, and you become... You know, this is the idea of, you know, you go from being dead and, and uh, the dead land that, 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 that it comes, Allah brings it to life and, and, and feeds people off of it. And, you can, and, and, and having Muslims who, who go from, who can, who can be awoke, who can be awakened and, and can turn into those, 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 those fruit trees that bear fruit for, for the society around them. Everybody can come and, and, you know, and get their nourishment from them. And the Muslims are the beacons of light in our society and not, and not being you know, their light isn't being drowned out and shut and put away and, and into a drawer, but they're being, you know, brought out and the flashlights are being turned on. And, and, and the light that, that Islam is and that, and that Muslims can be, if they implement their religion, can, can you know, illuminate their society and, and we can be free to do that.